Production. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. Today we are about to go for a photo walk later in the evening. Organized by Studio Arcus Iris and I'm about to share with you some places that we're probably gonna go. So the photo walk is gonna be about 7pm but I'm just gonna explore this in the afternoon because low light. Ah, uh, probably can't see much but this is one of the places probably that we might go. So this is the Anderson Bridge. So recently, they actually blocked off the other lane, like this part. Used to be able to drive over here, but not anymore. I don't know why. They permanently closed the road, but yeah, it's nice for us to shoot. Anyway, so yeah, look at that. So this is the other side, where usually roads are active, but they actually close down the road. And when it's crowded with people, especially like weddings, portraits, fashion lifestyle kind of thing. Especially over weekends, it's a hot spot. Okay, so this is the lawn where we're gonna meet up later on at night. Uh, this is the outside of Victoria Theatre and Concert Hall. We used to be able to shoot inside but they don't allow us to shoot inside anymore. Even no permits allowed, I don't know why. But yeah, it's a hot spot for various kinds of shoot. Weddings, cosplay. Portraits, lifestyle, street, fashion, whatever you want to do. Also, sometimes they help events over here, like you know, uh, what do you call it? National Gallery Light Tonight Festival and stuff, light projection. It's actually a nice open space, but surprisingly, this spot, like, there's no one actually does picnic other than <laughs> I don't know if you can see over there. But yeah, surprisingly, there's no one do picnic over here, like, usually on every piece of grassland. People will try to camp and you know chill. I guess it's too hot. You wanna capture like a whole wide view and with a background with a cityscape, you can capture like that low angle or tight focal length. Also, these gates or fences, whatever you call it, the wall is nice, it's white and grey, it's minimal color. So, if you wanna get some minimal shots or you know, if your subject is vibrant, you can use this wall, it's actually nice. I've actually shot a lot at this location, even at the bridge and also the next location which we're gonna go later. Um, it's gonna be the National Gallery, the Padang. And yeah, there's a lot of spots over there. there are every corner you can play around with different angles and stuff. So yeah. Also by this roadside, you can actually capture some nice um, fashion stuff because of this um, this, this place, this fence, this wall is just unique on its own like you can't really find it anywhere else, not much Okay, so to our favourite spot which is the National Gallery So this place is uh, huge um, They host like a lot of events and art galleries inside But we are gonna explore the outer part today So I'm gonna show you all the spots that you can shoot around here Okay, so basically we are here I'm gonna show you all the first spot that we usually shoot uh, especially if you are looking for a sheltered place if it rains suddenly so this small sheltered place is where you can capture a lot of different angles and elements so basically you can get an angle from the outside and even shoot it straight inside and this pathway is basically wide enough to do like some walking shot if you want to capture like a cityscape you can even angle it there or there and most of the people actually like to have that MBS building at the background but sometimes it's gonna be silhouette so prepare your clashes and strokes okay there is a nice place you can play with a lot of different angles you can even capture from the inside towards the out you can play with leading lines over here and yeah seats at the stairs There's a lot of things that you can actually play around with like even here you know 
like in between the bushes or not, not really in the bushes but you know this this small pathway look at that there's someone there so probably taking some photos so yeah there's a lot of place that you can actually shoot over here okay so we are gonna head to one of the favorite spots i did a lot of things over here so yeah various kind of shoots available because this um, architecture is also unique okay <laughs> suddenly there's a lot of people over here i mean it's weekend but yeah look at these steps you can actually capture like a wide view from the bottom let me show you all what it looks like from the top okay so usually at the top i will be using 85 millimeter or 200 millimeter because it's nice compressed especially this angle So I've done pre-wedding, uh, actual day wedding, um, graduation and a lot of other stuff. Also, if you have telephoto, you can actually capture like a cool 45 degree angle kind of thing. You're going to be tight and nice, focus on the subject which you're going to stand like over at the steps over there. So you can capture like, a, you can create like a depth, like maybe two person. One is on the top, one is at the bottom, so it's going to be nice. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this short tour. We're gonna wait for the sun to go down. Wait until 7 p.m. and we're gonna shoot something over around here. Uh, most likely, I'm gonna do just videos. So I hope you all gonna enjoy this short vlog. And yeah, enjoy the video. Until the next one, guys. Peace out. Is it? Ah, I think there is some dust on the lens. <laughs>